These are the notes of the D major scale. In this scale, there are two sharps. This is on the sharp side of our circle of fifths. And if we go back to our phrase to help us remember our order of sharps, fat cats go down alleys eating bacon, we take those first two words, fat cats, which means we're gonna have an F sharp and a C sharp. So that means in our scale, we're gonna go from D to D and play the following notes. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. So let me show you what the fingerings and the notes on the staff look like for this scale. So for this scale, we're going to start with our low D. You could start with your high D and learn your, your high fingering for high D, uh, but if you are just starting with this scale, I think the low D is the easiest way to learn this. So what we're gonna do is push down our first three fingers on our left hand, our first three fingers on our right hand, and that thumb is not gonna push the octave key, it's just gonna hang out on the rest back there. So don't push the octave key, that's low D. We're gonna lift a finger up for E. We're gonna lift a finger up for F sharp. Again, that's important because it's in our key. Lift that finger up for G. Now it's just our right or left hand, excuse me, playing. Lift a finger up for A. Lift a finger up for B. Lift that finger up and no fingers now because that's C sharp. And then return to D with that thumb on the octave key. So let me run through that again. We're at low D. One, two, three, one, two, three, no pinkies, no thumb, just those three fingers on each hand. Lift a finger up to go to E. Lift a finger up to go to F sharp. Lift that finger up, we're all left hand for G, A, B, C sharp, no fingers down, and then push them down along with that octave key in the back to go to D in the middle. And that is your D major scale. So now it's the most important time of this video, which is practice time. Make sure that you tune before you play so that your notes match mine as close as possible. And if you found this video helpful, as always, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel, liking this video, and asking me any questions in the comments below. It helps me out a ton. So with that being said, practice all your scales, not just this one, and I hope you have a good time learning the D major scale.
Whoa, 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 make some music with Stoke Nonsense.